Father, but we thank you for today. We thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you for purpose and reason to why we're here today. We pray, Father, that your angel will stand in charge. We pray that you will be the leader and the director of what is about to take place because we want your name to be glorified in all things. We pray that, you, that your people be blessed by what's going to happen tonight. But we pray that it just flows and there's, there's no interruptions in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jay! Hey! Hey, so what's happening? Well, Everything's good. A lot is happening. <laughs> a lot, a lot. A lot is happening. A lot is happening. A lot is happening. There's um. Okay. Yeah, there's some stuff going on. There's some there's stuff, going, stuff on. going on. Right. Okay. Now, when you contacted me, yeah, and you said Empress Destiny, mm. I want you to help me on the next level, yeah, of your journey, yeah, and it's because you want to tell your story. Mm. Mm -hmm. You want to tell how you started, yeah, yeah, yeah. and how you are becoming, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. We're going to venture into that now. Yeah, please. That would be nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Okay, right. cool. Well, um, um, I started um, at a very young age. Right. I, um, I, I, like, I'm a church boy. Yeah. Grew up in church. Yeah. Um, I was raised with my nan from a very young age. Oh, grandma. Grandma, yeah, yeah. grandma. So, um, yeah, so as you can imagine, church was a thing that you had, to, had to be. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But um, I sang my first song when I was three years old. Wow! Yeah, I was three years old when I sang my first song. Right. And um, it, it, it's funny because I actually, I actually remember. Yeah. Um, singing my first song, I remember sitting down in the pew. Yeah. And like my granny was like, "Go on, go sing, go on, go sing." <laughs> and I'm thinking, I don't want to sing in it. Yeah. Like, but I don't even. To be fair, I don't even know mm. why. Yeah. Grandma said to me, go and sing. Okay. Because I don't remember being a child singing around the house or anything like okay. that. Okay. So obviously she knew something that I didn't know. But did she sing hymns with you? She probably did, and you probably didn't remember. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There so has to be something that there's got to be, she saw smart. something within yeah. you from small. Yes, yes. So she pushed you. Yeah. And she pushed you. And she pushed me. And you went up there. Yeah, I literally pushed me out. Like, what, what was it? <laughs> so um, I remember singing yeah. um, my first song. Yeah. Um, can't remember what the song was. Okay. But um, I remember finishing my song. Actually, what happened? Yeah. It was me and my cousin Sophie. Okay. I'm, I'm hailing up her name because she did exports. <laughs> sort of in Francis. <laughs> and um, we 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 went um, we went up together to sing. Mm. And she just ended up crying and walked off and left me up there. Oh. So I, so once she's gone back to her seat, I'm thinking, okay. well, I'm not singing. Okay. So I went to, to back to my seat and grandma was like, go on, go sing. Yeah, that's right. So I went back and I sung. Yeah. And um, after I sung, at church them days, they, they, they used to say encore, encore, encore. Yeah, that's right. And if they said encore. You have to sing again. You sing again. That's right. So they then, like what they heard. Yeah. So <laughs> then what, what happened on the encore, they started passing around the offering plate. So we get a little money now, like everybody's paying oh, to hear me sing. Okay. And then I'll be like, we never seen none of that money there. No. <laughs> it never passed your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never saw none. But okay. uh, that's how it all began. Okay. Um, I I used to sing in a choir called the Buds of Promise. Okay. And um, yeah, it was it was it was it was it was great. It was wonderful. And but when I got to about 10, 11, obviously okay. you get to that age where you want yeah. to do your own thing. Pre-adolescence, so right. you're coming into yourself yeah. and you're getting to know yourself. That's right. So what grandma instilled in you has now still kept on, of course, of with course. you. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because um, now being a dad yeah. myself, yeah, I, I I understand that scripture that says train the child, child up, in the way it should go. It should go. Yeah, you know, and what you instill in that child will never, will never depart. Yeah, that's correct. And mm -hmm. it's not a lie because okay. look at me now. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm here and I'm and I'm doing. You're doing it. Let's know. Yeah, <laughs> but we're not going to touch on fatherhood just yet. No, 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 no. We'll I'm still there. sticking with yeah, grandma we'll because we'll yeah, yeah. What you have done in the past, you know, where you've come from in the past, mm. it's through grandma. That's right. You know, because you said you were brought up with grandma, you that's were right. raised with grandma. That's right, that's right. You know, and the elders back then, they saw children in a different light how we would see children now. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, was she strict? Was she mm. very, well, how was her discipline? Uh, gra grandma, grandma was very, very strict because yeah. obviously being, a, being an old school church lady. Yeah. Very, very mm. strict. Mm. Um, but, it's funny because in in her discipline there was so much love. Mm. Do you know what I mean? She, yeah. was, she, she was a very stern yeah. woman. Yeah. I can't lie. Like yeah. grandma was stern, but 
she didn't make you feel like okay. you were loved. So did she spare the rod, spoil the child, or did she say no, or did she know. say yes? There was, you no, know? There, there was no spare and no rod. Right. None of that. that okay. The belt, the belt came out. Right. Granddad, okay. if granddad couldn't find a belt, it was stick or spoon or whatever was or something. Hand. Yeah, no, no, no. There was no spare and no rod, but it wasn't. I mean, they were very stern and mm. and, and and disciplined us, you mm-hmm. know, on a certain level. Okay. But before we got to the point of slapping, there was a lot of shouting and pointing finger. Right. Okay. It was licky for nothing. Right. You okay. know what I mean? So yeah, but yeah. So the discipline was there. Definitely. And it was carried through through grandma and grandpapa, you know, yes, grandpa, you know, it was that unit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And how do you yeah. think that related to you as you are now? I mean, um, how, well, how has that affected you, or how, how what have you brought to the table well, because of that? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's affected me. Mm. It's um, obviously when you're growing up as a child and you're being disciplined, mm. you don't appreciate it. Yeah, you're vexed about it. Yeah, about the discipline. Yeah, because you don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Mm. But. You know, it's made me mm. uh, train my child up, yes. so my, my children up that way. Correct. Um, and but it's funny because mm. how I see them react is mm. how I used to react. So it's, it's just that cycle that's going on. <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't like it, innit? Yeah. Yeah. But when they get to a certain age, they yeah. appreciate. That's right. What's been, you know, what's yeah. been done, what's been given. Correct. Do you know what I'm saying? That's so, correct. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's it's. It, I mean, a little slap. I mean, mm. I my children have never had to. Beat them, beat them. Okay. They got claps from me, of course. Of course, Clap yeah. Them, yes. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but enough um, to make them feel it. Right. What you're correcting yeah. them about. Yeah, cause I don't believe in beating yeah. children, but yeah. I believe that you should clap them once. Yeah. Enough that they know when you open your mouth next mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. what the possibilities could be. Correct. That's what it's. Correct. Saying. Yeah. No, but don't beat down your children. No, 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 no. But I do yeah. think that they deserve a clap. Yeah, of course. So that yeah. It never did you any harm. Ne- never. Well, look the power. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. yeah, you know, that's how it was and that's how you grew. Yes. Definitely. You know, and you you have appreciated that. You have 100%. to be, and it's all down with love. hundred percent. All with love. Yeah, definitely. Because you wouldn't be the person you are today. But there you go. There you, you know. There you go. There so now I'm I'm just looking through your bio. Okay. Your date of birth. <laughs> Now, to be honest, <laughs> you know, how, so, so when were you born then? I was born on the 15th of March, 1974. Right, okay. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So I'll be 42 in March. 42? Bless the Lord. 2016. 2016. We have yeah. arrived. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you've been on this planet for quite a while. Yes, yes. Amen. And as I, you know, as we will go through, yeah. just talking to you, yeah. you have and you are an inspiration. Right. Do you believe that? I, I, I 100% believe that. It right. took me a little, it took okay. me a long time to get here. Yeah. Um, but I'm learning. Yeah. Um, every day I have to say I'm learning okay. that I have to accept that which is true. Okay. You know, and but I'm a person I don't like to blow trumpet. Yeah. You know, okay. I, but I'm learning that people are saying, no, it's not about you blowing a trumpet. Yeah. It's about just acknowledging yeah. that you are, Jay. You yeah. are, you are. So yeah. thank you, thank yeah. you that, that, that you look at me that way. That's good. Cool. No, thank you. That's fine. Right. That's fine. <laughs> right. thank, thank you. But you know, going now onto your adolescent stage now. Yeah. Tell us about that and how did you get on with your, you know, getting to know who you are through your adolescent stage? Um. It's funny because um Were you rebellious? Uh I was Did you have lots of friends? I didn't have lots of friends. Okay. Because my family is really big. Right. So growing up as a child, okay. there was always cousins together. Okay. You yeah. know, like, you know, uh, we were the kind of family that when the aunts used to get ready to go out, okay. We'd all be in one place. Right. And where there wasn't space to make bed, yeah. On, on the, the floor. bed, we'd be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or one would be on the chair. Wow. Or, you know, and that's how we were. Cool. And yeah. this video, I think something mm. like life is amazing, you know, because I remember mm. that if we look like now, if yeah. we um, want to make a bed on the floor, we're looking yeah. for comfort. That's correct. So we're trying to look for padding and yeah. you know, rear. Oh, you take the cushions from the, the chair. That's right. Don't you? But them days there, it yeah. was just straight little thin sheet. Yeah. On the floor. Yeah. And and sheet on top. We were with quilt. <laughs> but what kind of sheets were they though? The you remember? Ones. All right then. <laughs> 
Because the slabs you were know them once, yeah, 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 and they yeah. were the in thing. Yeah, 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 but yeah. you did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so um, yeah, I mean, growing yeah. up was was mm. was very very much fam family orientated. Correct. Yeah. You know, and um. But um, it wasn't about friend friend because yeah. we were raised that mm -hmm. you could have friend come round, mm -hmm. but they could their time inside the house was limited. limited. Ah. You can't stay for long. Correct. Right. And when it comes okay. to um, dinner time, okay, they have to go. They have to go. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Everyone around the table was everyone you know together. You know, you had to prepare. You had to help prepare. You had to help clean up. Well, I mean, because how was it for you? Uh, um. I didn't start, to be fair, I didn't start preparing mm. until I was about 12. Right. Yeah. When so 12, grandma just did everything for you then, till well, 12? You I, even made your bed? No, no, no. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Because when I was um, young, because I went back to live with my mum when okay. I was six, seven. Okay, okay. So the early part, yeah, I was with nanny, okay. my granddad. Yeah. But when I was about six, seven years old, I went, yeah. to, went to go live with my mum. Okay. And um, so, yeah, but when I was living with nanny, mm -hmm. No, 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 nobody went out in, in grandma's kitchen. Right. Mm. Strictly her alone. Strictly, like, when grandma's doing her thing, okay. she don't want nobody in the okay. kitchen. I mean, obviously, she had her own mm. children that they, okay. some of them have, was of age that they had to be there yeah. to, to look while Yeah, that's right. But generally, okay. she didn't want to in the kitchen, okay. yeah, to be fair. But okay. I started, mum started calling me mm -hmm. early in the morning, Jason, yeah. when I was 12. Okay. And I'd be like, mum, man, like, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I lay in the bed and she'd be like, Jason, let me call you again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah. cool. So, and yeah. what she started doing, mm. which I, I really do appreciate, was yeah. at 12, I was just sitting on the stool mm. watching. Mm. In the kitchen with yeah, her? Yeah, with her. Wasn't doing anything, she says, sit down there and watch me. So she was guiding you as yeah. she was preparing. As she was preparing. And talking you through it. Yeah. Like how you soak the peas. That's right. What you do with the rice. That's right, that's right. Everything else. Yeah, from 12. And then when I was 13, yeah. she said, right, peel the potato. Wow. And I was like, okay, and then she said, peel the carrot. Right. And I started peeling, and then she showed me how to peel onion. Because mum, mum don't chop onion. Okay. What mum does, she peels the onion, yeah. slice it in the middle. Yeah. Slice it again yeah. into four. Yeah. And she, and she, peels the onion into the little strips and puts it into the food. Mum don't like chopping. Oh, Mum got into the chopping thing. Yeah. So you put it on the thing and no, chop. She's not she in, does it in her hand. There was no chopping board around right. the time. Yeah. Well, with, true. With mum's hand. That's true. So she would hold the onion yeah. and literally just take strips of it with yeah. the knife yeah. and put it into her food. And did she ever say anything to you about how you hold the knife and did she actually tell you? Because I know no. you're quite good with the colouring <laughs> skills. I'm going to get to that too. <laughs> because... <laughs> she did it, she did it. So, exactly say, do this, do that. She yeah. just said to me, watch. Okay. And I've learned that, mm. you know, sometimes you can speak and say, yeah. but it's, it's the method, isn't it? Yeah. You have to see yeah. how it's done. But you have an instrument, but you're guiding that instrument. The instrument ain't guiding you. guiding you, you. That's, right. that's so, right. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's yeah. And that, that, we can relate to that yeah. with a lot of things. Of course. That, you know, yeah. so. That's right, that's right, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's, it, it, um, it, um, by the time I was like yeah. halfway through being 13, oh. I was putting food on, on table. I was cooking meals Excellent. and putting food on table. Yeah. Yes. So you pretty much domestic catered. Pretty much. Well, I mean, <laughs> I can say this that yeah. you know what, I, 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 I am I am very domesticated. Yeah. Um, very independent. Yeah. Um, along along my journey it has been a problem for, for mm. previous relationships. Okay. Being so domesticated, which I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. Can you understand that? I, I can, to an effect, yeah, because it's not seen to the man to be in the kitchen. It has to be a woman thing. Yeah, but... Because the woman raises the home. Yeah. The, ra the mm. woman nurtures. Mm. But for some people, it yeah. is a problem, you know. I, I, don't, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. But, but I it don't, shouldn't be. It shouldn't be because, yeah. you know... It's, it's about partnership, right? Yeah, and we should embrace that balance. Yeah, it should, it should, it, it should, um, me being in the kitchen should, you should take it as, that's the, the that's your break. Yes, yeah, right. That's yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. But anyway, yeah. that, that was, that was, that was that, uh, yeah. uh, you know what, so, okay. but, but yeah. Uh, but that grew you in good stead, to be honest, because you definitely. had that, you had that training. Yeah. You um, had to have had that. I love to cook a food. Yeah. I do love to put on so a So where's pot. my soup today, though? Because I, I see you never come, you come I in know, to hand I know, I know, I <laughs> know. What the hell? 
<laughs> one of the hand was empty and one of your hand had a little bottle of wine. That's right. <laughs> but, but I didn't need the other hand to drive. Yeah, that's right. That's cool. That's cool. That is cool. That is cool. 